Gaming. Gaming. Full Spencer. Shut up, Ender Ring. So what are we talking about, DLC 2? Yeah, we're going to talk about how amazing and difficult it is for new players. It, it is extraordinarily And extraordinary. moaning. It has to be the, the, the hardest DLC they ever released. I wish, I, wish I, was, I wish I was a mod in the server already so I could just mute people at will. You want to mute Ender Ring? A little bit, yeah. No. Oh, hey, ho. I can, this is a problem. I, I can give you moderator. You now have moderator. I, I trust you, so you have moderator. Based. I'm going to server mute him. <laughs> you actually <Server> did. <laughs> you actually serve him. I don't lie about what I'm gonna do. Well, so uh, let's talk about the hammer. Way to start the podcast. Yeah, that's a great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, oh, yeah, let me serve mute this child real quick. Yeah. All right, I feel good about myself. Uh, let's go. So you, you, you can leave me as model. Keep an eye on your channels. All right, what are we gonna call you them? Just harass a child. I'm calling your mom. You think this is my first rodeo? <laughs> Okay, so I've been beating up kids since I was a kid. Call this. Let's call this the DLC two support group hotline. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we should have an official name for this podcast. Um, what about the DLC two podcast? What about Among Us Masters? What about yes. the the, the Among Us Part Two or the Humpcast? <laughs> the Humpcast. Right. Humpcast works good. Yeah, um, I'm good. actually I'm actually in the process of writing a review, like a proper long review for the Ancient Gods too, that I kind of want to use as a script. But I have the rough one here that I can use. Oh, okay, I feel like uh, I think um, Cynic the Original might get mad at me for for making another podcast because like I already made one with him, but it's like not up yet because I I have it edited and shit. Yeah. But wait, fuck! Do I still? I don't think I still have it actually. You lost it. I think so. <laughs> I reset my PC, so it might be gone. But no, I uploaded. No, I, it's on Google Drive. Actually, never mind. Can you can you hear my Google. dog being a barky little bastard? Yeah, yeah, we can. What a son of a dog. Bitch. Oh. I can't believe my dog is so quiet. This Stab the dog. <laughs> Stab the dog. Oh, new new yes, new person in the podcast. Welcome. I would say Welcome. for. As 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 absolutely Pogarina says, a podcast would be. I think there are better times to do it than too. like half two in the morning on my side. You I would really fuck I, yourself. I, go fuck. I would really like to do one though. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to get everyone's schedules in line so we can all talk about it together. Yeah, we're all going to discuss the new Dark Souls remake. Uh, it's it's fine. First of all, I'm playing a single Dark Souls game. Get, get around to it. Game. What is the best Dark Souls game? Dark Souls Remastered or Dark Souls 1? That's a good question. Which one is better? Ooh, Dark Souls 3 in terms of gameplay, Dark Souls uh, Dark Souls 1 in terms of everything else. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Hmm, are you recording yeah. right now? No, I'm not I'm recording. Go Dark Souls 1 in terms of good. world oh, design. Oh, good. I want to go with Dark Souls 1 in terms of world, th world design, narrative, thematic, themes and tones, art direction, and uh, level design. Yes, I want to go with Dark Souls Three for gameplay and boss design. But I like, I'm almost. I'm, I'm almost go with. I'm going to go with Dark Souls Two for level design. I'm going yeah. to stab you in the eyes, and I'm not going to stop <laughs> until I can taste your breakfast. However, it is the worst at everything else. So you're not Dark about Souls, to get down. Yes. Dark Souls Two has one noteworthy factor to it, and that's its connectivity. Memorized. It's not even. Its netcode isn't even better. Its connectivity is. Yeah. Oh, Cringe is now part of the podcast. Welcome to the podcast, Cringe. Or should I say the homecast? Hey, Xbox to play Fortnite yeah. today. Actually, uh, you know, come to think of it, Hump, you're going to need some gameplay to put behind this. I don't mind streaming that, you know. Oh, you can uh, send me some gameplay if you want. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, you, I mean, I can just start, you know. There's that, too. Yeah, but isn't your keyboard, like, fucking loud? I'll mute myself. No, no, no. You should be part of the podcast. I can record it for myself. <laughs> No, it's gonna be a. It's gonna be like twenty minutes long. We're only. We're yeah, like. Yeah. We're like. Uh, uh, we're like, we're like, we're like nine, we're like nine minutes yeah. in. Wait, cringe. What's wrong? What's wrong, kiddo? <laughs> Refer to me as kiddo. <laughs> what? Uh, why? Is, why is that man moderator? Uh, because I thought it was funny, and I trust him. So. He's yeah, not gonna do any. Brothers. He's not gonna do any stupid brothers, shit. Let's come. More than likely, I'm actually gonna end up moderating something or another. Um, so, 
really quickly. Yeah, I was, I, should we uh, should, should we start talking about DLC two at this stage? Yeah, maybe. So, what are we going to discuss okay. first? The difficulty, the fucking hammer breaking the entire game, or, or what? What is it? What are we going to discuss here? So, I have I have my I have my rough review here, and I can just go over some of the skeleton points with that. All right. So, I think the worst part about the DLC is the fact that the approach and design and the quality of it is just so massively lower than the base game, the DLC. The balance is completely non-existent, the plot is awful, and the arena design is far too varying in quality. The enemy design is... at Enemies have a really weird point in this, because... There's too many with too little happening, and the en- the few enemies that do have stuff happening have too much happening. Hmm. They have no real depth in terms of their design, and present very little to change the dynamic of the combat or its presented systems. Sounds, so like suppose, uh, uh, sounds like a professional. Sounds like a professional. Another thing about the DL- DLC is that the Sonic Imps are literally just reskinned, recolored, basically. That, yeah, but that's all. The, the that's all the enemies. That's the, armor, the armor barons have a new model, and everything else is a recolor. Wait, wait, which one did they give a new model? The armor barons' armor is a new. Oh model. yeah, it really. Wait, yeah, it, that one. It switches but, model. Yeah. Yeah, if you kill destro- if you kill prowlers or imps with a destroyer blade or a chainsaw, they have a chance to turn into a normal prowler or imp in the animation. What the fuck? Yeah, I have a clip of it. Wow. It's still yeah. expensive. That I- that actually does sound dumb though. Uh, yeah. My biggest my biggest issue was the fact that like, you know how in early game Doom Eternal they teach you the importance of weak points and how it can be used to nullify certain enemy effects or advantages. And then the DLC comes along with only one enemy that has a weak point, being the Armored Baron, which then doesn't go on to feed the Hellbreaker. And you have Chain Gunners, you have Cursed Prowler, you have the Stone Imps, none of which have weak points, which you can exploit in any interesting way. Like, the Chain Gunner does nothing. All he does is just exist for you to kill it with splash damage. No, 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 The, the, the fucking, the Chain Gunner exists because people wanted him in the DLC. That's why yeah, he's here. But, like, I mean, like, like mechanically, don't normally have, it sh- but... he should have been, like, a super heavy or at least a heavy. And I, I've said it loads of times yeah, on Yeah, and more Discord. mechanics. Yeah. I said it loads of times on, the, on Toyota's Discord. I would love if he was somewhere between an Arachnotron and a Marauder. Because the challenge, yeah. should, he should have had, like, at least, he should have had two weak points or something like that. I feel like more of the enemies should have had weak points in this DLC to really change it up. Because all we got in the last DLC was the spirits, which change enemy. And the Bloodmaker, which is its own pressure unit, which again is we've already seen the same mechanic with the with the makers in the same ca- in, in the campaign just before. So seeing something with actually introducing new weak points that significantly impact the flow of combat would have been nice, and the Chain Gunner was a good opportunity to do that, which they didn't take. Yeah, yeah, but it's like they don't actually introduce like any new demons anymore. It's just like they they have reskins and shit. I was actually yeah. hoping for like something. Like, I don't know, man. Like, fucking a new model for demons. Something that looks interesting, you know? Like, the Marauder looks really cool. If they just fucking make something cool like the Marauder, you know? Just a new design. Make him look cool. Make him look badass. But no, it's just fucking reskins. Yeah, Yeah, and there's, like, barely any mechanics coming with it. That's about your problem. At the same time, then there's issues like the Cursed Prowler, who only hit me once during my, like, six runs of the DLC. Please let me speak. It's just... It's just awful. Between, like, the Cyber Baron, who only functions as a less aggressive, less engaging, less dangerous, and less tanky Baron, and the Curse Prowler, a Venomous Hybrid, should have been the product of both of them. Removing your dashes and having to kill it with only a Blood Punch, losing health, not being able to meat hook him, and having a terrible green filter over your screen is just not good. Not- it doesn't, like, teach you anything like the Arachnatron does in the early game. Or doesn't oh, teach you anything like the Marauder does at the midpoint. All of Arc Complex is based around you fighting the Marauder because it puts you in these linear sequences where you have to DPS down heavy enemies. Yeah. Well, and that's literally one of the like fundamentals to fighting the Marauder in a 1v1. The, the thing about the, the fucking ba- uh, Armored Baron is it's just... It's a it's a it's like a Bloodmaker Baron in the sense that you have to wait for a certain timing to like shoot to like a precision bolt at a weak point or whatever the fuck, right? And then it explodes, and then you have a, like, normal Baron. It's it's a good enemy. Like, it's a good design. Yeah. It's just another Bloodmaker thing, you know? Yeah. It, all the new enemies they are introducing, it's like, wait for the enemy to do this or that thing. 
Yeah. Yeah. And if it's yeah. not that, it's like, okay, use this specific weapon to kill it. Like, why? Yeah, and, it, okay, so that's that's the thing that really pisses me off. So, like, in DLC 1, you introduce the Bloodmakers. And Bloodmakers... Or, I'm sorry, bad example. I meant the Spirits. You introduce the Spirits, right? Yeah. You have to use the... You have to use the micro beam to kill the spirits. Nothing else works on them. Yeah. You know, okay, fine. You gotta get you got it we got an enemy that, in addition to being a huge threat, also has this gimmick. It is the only demon in the game. The one and only demon in the entire game that requires a spe- that requires a specific weapon to kill it. I nothing else works. Alright, sure, okay. It's the one and only. I'll give you a pass. Here comes DLC 2, fucking Stone Imps. You what? must Stone? use the, you, you, it's like, oh, they're weak to the, to the full auto shotgun. No, actually, that's bullshit. Well, I mean, you they, can't. You, you basic, if you don't, unless you want to dump an entire truckload of fucking ammo into little assholes, you got to use the fucking a chainsaw or... The full auto shotgun, and don't say the chain gun shield. I'm convinced that's a glitch that's going to get patched out. But well, is it though? Is it a glitch? I feel like it's I not a glitch so. because normal imps don't have that either, or do they? Yeah, I I think it is a glitch because he's got resistance to every other form of damage. Uh, oh. Normally, fodder can be killed with a straight dash, but it yeah. feels like an oversight. But yeah. like, it's mass. You have to deal massive damage to the fucker, or use the full auto shotgun. And that's so much worse. It's so much more frustrating to be told, I mean, yeah, you can use these other guns, but then they deal no fucking damage. Remember and what the remember what the point was of Doom Eternal. They were like, okay, we're gonna we wanna make the player switch weapons all the time, right? Yeah. But then they still force you to use one weapon on a specific enemy. Yeah, it's, it's so like bad. yeah, sure, you switch you switch weapons. Like, that's it. I, I used the combat shotgun anyway. I used full auto anyway. You know, Why? you don't need to give Why? me a demon for to give me an inten- incentive. In, fuck, in, never mind. I cannot pronounce that word. Like, just... Incentivize or incentive? Yeah, 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 that, basically. And it's like, just let me fucking do what I want, man. Jesus Christ. Okay. I bet you could beat a combat in Arena and Ancient Gods without moving. Well, you probably can. In fact, you can beat the first level of the Ancient Gods. No, no, actually, if you really try and you know how the fucking combat works, you can just sticky bomb your way through the entire DLC. It works. Probably. Well, you could say that about the base game as well. Yeah, yeah, true. But, like, the thing is, you you cannot do it in the the entire game because there's, like, one corridor where you don't have the sticky bombs. You guys, don't unban Mimeo, please. Why not? Don't. <laughs> Do not. Oh yeah, and apparently the Archvile's big brain doesn't work anymore. They never worked. Well, they did. Well, it works even less now. Uh, hum, hum, yeah. when are you gonna do an uh, only playthrough? Wait, what? What? An- what like well, I don't. Subs. Another and, another uh, playthrough of what? Do Eternal, like the main game, using only the first shotgun you get. Oh, right. I made that promise what? five years ago. God damn. Yeah. Huh. Uh, quick question. Hey. Yeah. Um, I mean, in Ancient Gods Part 2, the music was good, but they could have just, in my opinion, they could have just not released it tomorrow. They could have just released it in April. Or, I don't know, May. You, you mean just the, the, the music or just the Ancient Gods Part 2 in general? Ancient Gods Part 2 in general, basically. Yeah. I mean, that's what I should have done, to be honest. But, like, I feel like it's not, like, a DLC that's lacking. They just didn't bother, it feels like, you know? It's not like they ran out of budget. Hey. Oh, yeah. uh, no, nah, it... Uh, like, do you remember Pilot? I, Wait, I what? think releasing... Shut up. Go... go uh, Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, then, go ahead. Don't go ahead. tell people to shut up. <laughs> Jesus, man. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I'll, I'll go first. I'll go first. Uh, yeah. No, I no, mean... no. <laughs> shut up, cringe. He's going all right. first. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you remember pilot? All right. Or do you remember pilot? Uh, 
No. Of course uh, you okay. don't. Oh, well, on I'm the day there. of Wrath, uh, when Legion Gods Part 2 released, he Ow. just complained about the story. Like, so much. And then I made fun of him. And it was great. Oh. Yeah, sounds Bruh. interesting. All right. Full Spencer ruined Doom Eternal. Yep. All right, you continue on, uh, Demi the Skull Kid. Okay. I mean... My main problem is that releasing tomorrow wasn't a good move. Because otherwise, like, for example, I like the Doom Community. I got Doom Eternal on my Switch. Why? And I'm waiting. It's a good yeah, port. I got Doom Eternal. It's a good port. Yeah, it's it a good is. port. Why? It is. And I'm waiting for Angel Cuts Part port. 1. Yeah. And the controls are way better here on the fucking Switch. I mean, they could have just, you know, you know, work on the enemies and work on the game. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong on the plot. Like, they could have just at least um, do it more longer because I think um, people, I think patience was the answer to all of this. I mean, they could have just released Ancient Gods Part 2. I would say in May 23. That would have been the best. 23? That. Yeah, 23. That. Oh. This king has to go piss. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The thing is, the biggest issues with the Ancient God, Ancient Gods Part 2 is the fact that none of the, des- like I said it earlier, like none of the design feels like it's approached with the same design philosophy as the base game and the DLC. Yeah. It's like, and remember a- remember how the game treated you after you got the BFG? The game doesn't treat yeah. you with the same respect, with the same level of respect as it does when you get the hammer. Ah, uh, no, man. There wasn't, there wasn't the same degree of polish put into the enemy design. There wasn't the same degree of polish put into the narrative structure. I feel or like... The, uh, and, or any of like the arenas or level design. Aside from like a yeah. handful in Reclaimed Earth. Because you get the hammer in like right away, like yeah, a quarter of the way into um, the world sphere, and then the next mission, a good ways into reclaimed earth, out of nowhere, there's just a room where you can where you can kill a bunch of shit with the hammer. There's hammer and there's a million hammer pickups. Yeah, yeah, I, that it's corridor, like right? Tutorial. Yeah, it's like yeah. a tutorial room for the hammer in the world sphere. No, there's just this random room where you can kill a bunch of shit with the hammer because I guess it's time for Bobby to have a break and it's fun to kill the fucking mar- a billion fucking enemies with the hammer. Like, I don't even... Yeah. I don't get it. No, that okay. makes sense. So aside from the fact that I couldn't understand him most of the time. What? Very cool. What? Okay, oh. I'll, I'll just say what I'll... What I was gonna say, they the the thing that they should not have done is made it a year one pass. They should have just said, "Okay, DLC, done. We're just gonna release DLC. No year one pass bullshit." They could have done. They could have done like they could have done a year one pass. They could have just made it like a season. Not even like a season one pass, but like a just specify like what it's gonna fucking have. No, I feel like I feel like DLC two is gonna be way longer. But like because of like COVID, they weren't counting on like. They were like, okay, before COVID, they were like, okay, we're going to make a year one pass. And it's going to be easy peasy for us to make these levels because we already we already have the engine. You know, they have the, yeah. they have the fucking base game to work off. So they were like, okay, we're just going to get make a year one pass and we're going to sell it. What they should have done is just sold them both separately. So they had more time to make them. Because yeah. remember, for people that don't have the year one pass, they are buying a two hour DLC for $20. So, like, what the fuck? Yeah, that is future cool. A... Yeah, I mean, I, you can fucking ultra nightmare this DLC in like under an hour, like in fifty minutes. It's my done. first run of it was a UN. Yeah, and it, it's like if you skip all the cutscenes, it's done in under an hour. Um. Okay. The annoying thing is, is the fact that like things like the screechers just feel like. I feel kind of redundant. Yeah. Which is really frustrating. 
It's like none of the enemies seem to really be put in with any kind of like care or thought to how they would affect encounters. Totally. It feels like they had a bunch of gimmicks and not enough time to trim down the fat properly from all of them. <laughs> Instead of like six or seven new enemies, we should have gotten like three solid ones. Chain gunners, armor barons, and maybe like if they had brought back the harvester in the form of the cursed prowler, that would have made a lot more sense. Because, like, we don't have, like, what would have been cool is, like, you know, like, the, the Hellraiser from Doom 2016? Yeah. It did something interesting in the fact that it could set up crossfire for you to catch you in. And it would have been really cool to see harvesters and chain gunners working together to create basically, like, kill line, uh, kill sites for you. I would rather die than play that. Well, I think. It's a good idea. I think, that was, I think there was, like, an opportunity that could have been taken with the existing material that they didn't take. Of all the things to take from Doom 2016's multiplayer. Why make it the demonic troopers that literally contribute nothing? Yeah, but is it like are uh, are the levels like in part two? Are they actually shorter, or is it because the encounters are easier? I feel like the levels are of similar length, but the encounters are so much shorter. There's so many of like there's so much of the world's being reclaimed Earth, which is just platforming and minor sequential puzzle solving or whatever. But do you guys? By the way, do you guys think that level looks interesting? Do you guys think World Sphere? I work? think the World Spear is the most. In- World Spear and Amora are really interesting looking levels, but my issue with Amora is the fact that, you know, like in Final Sin, when the icon is like walking through the city, you're under the impression that shit's fucked. Yeah. And you really feel the urgency to get to the icon quick and stop him before everything is fucked. Mm hmm. And there was no sense of there was no sense of urgency through the entirety. In, in the World Spear, when you started the World Spear, were you under the impression that in like three missions you were going to. F- kill the dark lord no no no. but like the thing is right why why would the slayer rush to imora why would he why would he not just wait four years to do that shit because of the country it's i have no idea hmm well that that's the end of the podcast i guess so basically (laughs) the slayer fell asleep no, 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 no. Case closed. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone, and fuck off. <laughs>